I'm a beer drinker. That's what I love to drink. I love to drink uh, mostly IPAs. I mean, that's what I wanted to create something that was kind of light and drink really drinkable that you could drink a, a bunch of and not be totally wide, really. It was kind of my concept, but have to be really hoppy and delicious and not too malty is what kind of beers that I'm drawn to. And, and as a beer drinker, I, that's what I love and that's what I'm drawn to. And that's what I do try to kind of create and collaborate on. We kind of played it by ear. You know, we had a basic framework for the beer uh, going into it today. And then we talked about, you know, some other hop varieties for us to put into it and uh, gave them a selection of them. Tried, tried out the hops and said, hey, how about, how about this and how about that? And so there we are. I'm not a brewer, I'm, I'm, I'm just a beer drinker, really. I know, and I really know what I like. And it was cool to get the smell of the different hops and really, you can really tell the characteristics and the difference, differences of those. Yeah. And, and what they it's bring evident. out in the beer. It's evident just in smelling the hops themselves, let alone how they manifest themselves in the finished beer. Right in conjunction with the malts that are used and the yeast and, and, and all the other parameters that go into what makes a final beer. Really so the science of it. So there's a whole lot of it, yeah. Science. Science! <laughs> <laughs> We're naming the IPA that we created um, after the album, which is called Shadows, Grays, and Evil Ways. The Shadows, Grays, and Evil Ways IPA. So, I mean, the album is uh, this narrative, it's kind of this dark narrative about it. It's a love story that goes into um, he, you know, their young love and he discovers that he can't really provide for his family. So he goes and he joins, he joins the war and um, kind of comes back pretty disturbed. And then it's kind of a long road to redemption and he realizes ultimately it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an album about love and hope and the strength of a woman to kind of make the main character, Norman. Yeah, so the whole thing with this beer is we're going to be releasing it, premiering it to really not just uh, Colorado, but the, the craft brewing world at the Great American Beer Festival coming up down in Denver, which is, is every year. And it's a three day event of, uh, of, of just craft beer throughout the, the, the whole area here. And it's a humongous thing for us because we have people from all over the country and all over the world coming to see. Denver and to go out and see all the breweries around here. We'll be having all sorts of music and beer from across the country. We're going to have bands playing all day. It's a two-day event that we're doing. We're going to premiere your beer at, at that event. Your whole band's going to play. Oh, but, your food uh, and beer, everything, right? <laughs> food, beer, Sounds even cooler. Oscar Blues food, Oscar Blues beer, beer from all sorts of other breweries around. You know, it's going to be a fucking blast. I think so. so. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> right on, man. Cheers, bro. Cheers to you. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. <laughs> 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 That's good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>